What's good, mi gente? Nas and Freddie here with someone very special. Our guest today is here to talk to us about the third season of Radar. Check out a little bit more about this hit show. Hola, mi gente. Ready for season three of Radar 2021? What are your thoughts on the word Latinx? It defines and includes every sort of version of me. Beautiful anxiety. Anxiety. It's going to blow your mind. This is not your abuela's new show. Cultural appropriation is a woman's story. Before I became an actor, I was a social worker. You have to heal your wounds from the past. Get on the radar. Okay, hey, bye. And on the radar, right. we are. All right. I'm a Gabby. little triggered by that, I'm not going to lie. But uh, let's <laughs> but say hi to our guest. Do, absolutely, right? absolutely. Gabby! Hey, Gabby what's up? Fresquez. We're so happy to have you. So I'm happy. so happy to be here. And I want to talk about the fact that you're triggered and what's what's going on. I don't like that. that the guy said that cultural appropriation is a women's thing. I don't know if I misunderstood what he meant to say. You need to watch it all. But I, I think, think I need to watch the rest of it because I, I think cultural yes. appropriation is genderless. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's why we. You should watch your show, right? <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about Radar, Gabby. Um, well, <laughs> I love your story. <laughs> um, well, Radar was, a, it's an English language news show for Telemundo, which is kind of the first of its kind. And we are uh, really gearing towards sort of that younger Gen Y, Gen Z audience, and talking about a lot of things that traditionally have been sort of taboo in yeah. our culture, in our community. So any taboo topic you can think of in the Latinx community, we cover it. I absolutely love that because I think we always talk about this, especially with Latinx now. I think Radar and Latinx now go kind of hand in hand because I feel like it's really important to, you know, start paving new ways with our culture still behind us. You know what I mean? Like not to forget about that. Now speaking about that, Radar, this is a third season, right? Yep. Uh, what's coming different than from the past two seasons? Well, what we're seeing now is basically so many of these topics being really colored by kind of coming out of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And as much as we don't want to talk about the pandemic anymore because it's sort of just this looming, very depressing thing that's always going on, um, we can't help it, right? Everything is sort of like coming through that lens a little bit. But that said, we are trying to kind of break through to, you know, other other things um but it's but yeah it's been really interesting because we start we launched the show during the pandemic so it's really been hard to get away from that um like we have an episode about mental health coming up i love that which how can you talk about mental health and not mention how crazy we were all going during the pandemic but it's not only mental health right it's everything else you're, you're talking about things such as relationships mental health gender roles in there and those all are shaped by what the pandemic has sort of helped us realize or not realize so how did you end up as a news reporter is it something that you always wanted to do and is it everything you've expected um, no and no. So, <laughs> but I did, I actually did go to school for broadcast journalism. I went to USC, Annenberg. So, Bravo. Um, that was fun. But I, I mean, I have always wanted to be everything under the sun. And I actually, after I graduated from journalism school, I actually uh, was an actor in LA. Nice. And with that, I, I guess I couldn't get away from the journalism stuff. So I was hosting, I was acting, I was hosting. And then I started writing and hosting and acting. And right as I was creating my own content and sort of getting back to my roots, uh, the show Radar came up. So it was like a natural transition and like a natural fit. You know what Latinos say, right? Nas, lo que es para ti es para ti. Okay, te te quites. Te quites. There uh -huh. you go. Yeah. You know, uh, we actually have a little small package of what's to come in this third season, but I want you to tell me, like, is there anything, because I know we have you, Gabby, and you're the main host of Radar, but you guys also go on the streets and ask different questions, right? You have other producers part of it, too? Yeah, we actually have some really cool contributors um, that have come on board, and every now and then we'll do, like, a little man on the street, little okay. interview, because, I mean, the show is really all about being inclusive and really engaging our community and diverse voices so if we're not doing that we're not doing our job yeah and there's a little bit of controversy out there right now with the term latinx now and we know it because the next that's the name of our show latinx <laughs> now the controversy is actually with just the term latinx so i want to ask you do you like it the term latinx i like it i think it's inclusive do you like it i like the term latinx do you I, like I it do. how could you say yeah. no it's the name yeah. of your show yeah. all right so well, it's true it's true but i do like the word Good latinx point. for a reason i just think I mean, I, 
I need to clarify it too because a lot of people think Latinx now sometimes means the Latinos of our generation. No, it has to do with the gender, about not necessarily giving that female gender or the a male gender to a word. It's being inclusive for everybody. Right, and I think when you understand that, you have a different appreciation for it. Yeah. I know when I first heard the word, I was like, oh my God, how many yeah. more words are we gonna have? Chicano, Hispanic, Latino, Latina. Like, yeah. But then when I really understood it, I had a completely different, I changed my mindset and I had a different appreciation for it. And especially the fact that it is inclusive. And you guys have some very intellectually distinguished people and some very regular people too that give their thoughts on the term Latinx. And that's what we want to give you guys a little preview of. So you know to tune in. We're out here in the streets of Hollywood. Latinx, do people know what this term is? Do they hate it? Are they for it? Let's find out, come on. What are your thoughts on the word Latinx? Honestly, I'm not sure exactly what it means, but I believe it has some, it's another way to explain a particular culture within the Spanish community or Hispanic community. It's inclusive. It's okay, it's good. Yeah. I don't think they should have a word to describe us as, as you know, we're, we're all supposedly related and we're all created equal. I think it's uh, completely disrespectful to... My first language is Spanish. It's a gender-based language and to be calling someone Latino, Latin, Latin X or... Uh, what's another one? Chicana O or Chicana X? That's wrong. Latin X is just neutral for all Latinos, all gender qualifying Latinos. Well, that was interesting, but luckily there's a whole episode explaining this term, so you enjoy that. You see... <laughs> That's what happens. Perspective. Not even perspective. When you become knowledgeable and not ignorant and you learn what things are, then that's why I think you start liking it more sometimes. Maybe I shouldn't have said ignorant. Maybe it's a little too much, right? But I think it's just the wanting to know of something and not just uh, assuming that it means right. something. Like I said, a lot, initially, I'm telling you, as Latinx now, we first thought it was like, oh, it just means this generation of Latinos. No. And it's super important for the inclusivity because I feel like it's easy for me to be like, how do I Latina? Because I I, I can go by she, you know, or her, so it doesn't bother me. But sometimes we need to represent people that are probably not seen on screen, and we need to be inclusive. And 100%. Yeah. And we just saw Ivana Emilio, who's one of the great contributors on this show, really awesome. Yeah, when, when it comes to you and your team, Gabby, we know that you're the head honcho of the show. What is it that you want everyone to know about Radar? and why people should A ver, la que manda. Oh, gosh, here we go. Oh, head honcho, I love that. I'm going to tell my bosses about that one. I um, mean, make it till you make it. <laughs> I want everyone to know that this is a show where you can come to and, uh, you know, there might be some topics you don't know very much about. Um, there might be some uncomfortable conversations, but it's a place where we invite those conversations, where we start the conversations, and we invite them to keep going. Um, I, you know, I'm opinionated AF. That's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own. But uh, we really try to do our job in terms of, like I said, just bringing on contributors and different voices and really keeping that conversation as well-rounded as possible because nobody wants to live inside a giant echo chamber. Eso! And that is why Radar is different. It's on YouTube every Thursday. Make sure to tune in and watch our girl Gabby over here bringing you the latest news. Gabby, you know you always got a welcome in this studio, always. right? Always, but can I ask before we do go, because I am opinionated, opinionated AF too, what do you, how do you feel about the word Latinx? Do you like it? I have come to love and embrace it. I really feel like it speaks to this current generation and the change that's happening right now and the evolution that's happening right now, and I think that's cool and it's something I want to be a part of, so. Awesome. Now, something that we want you to be a part of, too, is our game time. Ooh. But this game time is just to get to know Gabby a little bit more and Gabby and her memories of news, right? I guess that's uh, the best way to put it. Yeah, that right. could be it. <laughs> right, okay. It. So, Gabby, I need you to tell me what's the craziest news that you've ever heard? Just, like, news in general? Yeah, news in general. Craziest news. Oh, my gosh. Um, the craziest news... Um, I got you. Ah, I, why am I drawing a blank? Um, you know, the craziest news was I found out that they brought through some kind of uh, scientific procedure. They brought back an endangered species recently, oh. and I can't remember exactly which one it was, but they were able to, to get the DNA. I know, like Jurassic, Bi no? Jurassic Park <laughs> vibes for sure. Like but they were able to, yeah, clone DNA and bring back an endangered species. Beautiful. Oh, that's, that is crazy. Isn't that amazing? That is crazy. That is crazy. <gasps> What's the funniest story that you've got to cover? on radar. Ah, oh, the funniest story. And I know it's hard because 2020 yeah, didn't bring a lot of fun I know. Uh, but... No, not a lot of funny, but um, we did a little, uh, there was one where we
we were talking about um, being bicultural, by being bicultural, and we went to a taqueria, and I think we were we were doing like a man on the street on what's better, corn tortillas or, or flour tortillas. And corn. after we did that, <laughs> well, that's the original, right? <laughs> but uh, after we did that, we did a little taste test of like different spice levels of foods, to basically like to see what Gabby could handle and when she would crack. Um, and I did pretty well. I held my own, so uh -huh. that was fun and funny, mostly for our producers who got to watch me squirm while I ate. Raw jalapenos. <laughs> that is funny. And the last one that I'm going to ask. Right. <clears throat> What's a keep your eye on it news? On Ooh, radar that's right a now. good one. Ooh, that is a really good one. Oh, I know. Uh, well, this, this isn't even in the works yet, but I think we're going to do like a sex episode. Oh. And because I get. Nothing makes Abuelita more uncomfortable <laughs> than talking about likes sex. Everybody to keep their eye on sex. Because if you look at the, the, the research in the last few years, they're saying that um, our generation is having less sex. And given that we just went, we're still going through a pandemic, I can't imagine how those numbers have shifted. Hmm. Did you yeah. have less sex? Yeah. Maybe more self sex. Oh, yeah. Probably. All yeah, right. Yeah. Let's, save it for, let's save it for the special. <laughs> let's save it for the special, Gabby. Thank you so much. As we already mentioned, Radar is on YouTube every, every Thursday. Thursday. Gabby, you are awesome. Yes. Follow her on Instagram. Follow Radar on Instagram as well. And you bring us some fresh perspective to all the topics that make Abuelita nervous that we love yes. to abuelita talk about. Abuelita's so, talking about it with you. us. Thank you so She's much. Like, no, some abuelitas are really cool casa, like that. It's not, it's not your abuela's new show. <laughs> <laughs> not for her. My abuela. Abuela's a little crazy though. Ey, 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 tú, tú, tú ahí. No te vayas, ¿te gustó el clip? Entonces suscríbete para seguir riendo y jugando con nosotras. Aquí la pasamos espectacular y obviamente hablamos de todas las noticias del mundo Latinx y lo más trendy. Entonces dale click y no te pierdas nada de Latinx Now. Ahí está, click, suscríbete, like, comment, click, click, all 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 click